All right, so yeah, yeah coach, speak to us about uh, about today's game. Sorry about that. Yeah, it was a good win. Uh, and, and, and I needed one as well. Uh, we, we, coming out of the World Cup qualifying campaign, we have spoken to the boys about uh, really taking advantage of, of, of games that we play in the office. We have to make this a fortress again, uh, like it was years ago. And uh, I think we're now unbeaten in our last three games here. So satisfying result, especially with, with all the turmoil that uh, the, the, the boys faced over the last three, four days. And uh, as I said, satisfying result. Uh, couldn't ask some more from the players. Can we improve? Yes, certainly. Uh, as you know, a number of players are in their off season, but um, they really made a sacrifice, especially the UK-based players made a sacrifice to come here to help the team. And uh, this basically puts us closer to qualifying for the Gold, Gold Cup next year, which is our first objective. So again, Pretty pleased with the three-one the result tonight. All right, speak to us about playing amidst the controversy. Speak to us about how that would have affected you, the coaching staff, and the players. Well, as you know, yeah. Once if you are not mentally focused hundred percent, then it, 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 it can throw you off. And and as 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 coaches, the, the onus is now on us to really get the players, you know, back focused and, and ready to go out and, and give hundred percent. Uh, but we are Jamaicans, we are fighters, we don't give up and we, as I said, we saw that in the first game. We, we arrived at the stadium uh, roughly 40 minutes before kickoff. A uh, quick warm-up and, and the boys really went out and gave it their all in, regardless of, of, of what um, or how they felt. But um, we were pleased with that result. But honestly, uh, I mean, when I looked at it and I, and I, and I spoke to them and I told them, that probably that was one game where whatever the result is, it, it wouldn't matter to me based on what they, they, they went through, you know. But um, we got back home uh, and tonight we, as I said, for, the, for, for most, most of the game, especially the second half, I thought we, we totally took charge. First half was, was, a, was a, bit, a bit more even, but I think second half um, we really um, got the job done and it was a workmanlike performance, but I think defensively, we really did what we had to, what we had to do. Uh, I don't recall them getting very uh, many clear-cut opportunities, so we, opportunities which which was good. And the fact is, we have a, a tough opponent in Mexico coming yeah. next Tuesday. So I think um, a, a victory going into that game is really is really good for for morale and for the confidence of the team. All right, coach. Let's talk about your specialty, your area, the goalkeeping. So. Um, Surprising start in goal for Amal Knight the past two games amidst what might be a controversial um, omission of Andre Blake from the team. What do you think of Amal Knight's performance under the circumstances? Two brilliant games, especially the, the, the first game. He, he came up with at least five big saves. Yeah. And, uh, and again, he didn't expect to play with all the controversy, but um, with, with, with our captain you know, not feeling well mentally, to, to, to go out and play, it was a sharp, a short um, decision and uh, for, for, for such a game of that magnitude and with all that, not him, only himself but the entire team, the entire delegation was going through yeah. and for him to really go out and, and kept us in the game and I, 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 I really lift my hats after him and I told him that even if he had put five bars in the goal, <laughs> it, it wouldn't have mattered to me as I said because the result under that circumstances wasn't too important. Yeah, because I was just about to ask you that. In my opinion, he was definitely the outright man of the match until that mistake. What do you think would have led to him making a mistake? Because he was catching everything that game. He was literally all over the box. Yeah, he was making saves. Yeah, Why do you think? Um, the, the, the corner wasn't, was floated in and there's a little bit of wind. So as a goalkeeper, once the ball is in the air, your, your focus shifts. You're, you're just concentrating on the ball. Um, they have they had been crowding him and attacking the eyeballs as well. So uh, I guess he he had expected to feel some challenge coming, and that didn't happen. But he, he just wanted to, to to be safe because he didn't want to go up, try and catch, and then he get bumps, ball drops, and somebody pokes it in. The referee doesn't call a foul, so he was just trying to be safe to, to punch it away. But like I said, I I, I wouldn't blame. I, I'm not going to blame him under, under the circumstances. And if he had let three or four goals in. I wouldn't have blamed him either, you know, but we just give God thanks that um, everything worked out well, you know? So is the coaching staff still intact or will there be changes within the coaching staff because of what happened? 
or will will this coaching staff still be the coaching staff going forward? Uh, as far as I know, no changes will, 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 will be made. Uh, we, we, we are a tight unit and uh, we have stuck together through this controversy and hopefully we'll see um, brighter days ahead. So I, I don't foresee any, any changes right now. But uh, again, as I said, we'll just take it one day at a time and we'll just prepare for the next one. And last question, will we be seeing Blakey on, Mon on Tuesday or will it be a all night again? I can't say that right now. Uh, we wait until we, we go for when, when the players have a couple of days off. We get back together on the weekend and then uh, we prepare for a year. So let's wait and see. All right. Thank you, coach. Good luck going forward. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, man.